Hello Aquarians and Crosswatchers, welcome to your afternoon quickie tarot video. So this is a video designed to be under 20 minutes. I've already said my prayers and I want to be the first to tell you guys that you're so beautiful and you're so needed in this world. And I want to thank each and every one of you for sharing your time and your energy with me. I value you and the divine values you and thank you, thank you so much for being here. So let's get into this reading and see what wants to come out. Um... Let's just see what wants to come out. A beautiful day where I am at. <laughs> uh, good day here. Hope you guys are having a good day where you're at or I hope that it's getting better. Anyway, let's see what wants to come out here for this afternoon quickie tarot reading. Oh boy. Engagement. Engagement. Partnership. Commitment. Eternity. Completion. Union. So, I feel, and you know, you guys know I've been channeling this for a while. Man, and wedding rings on the bottom. This can't be a coincidence. And we have the mask behind that. And we have the axe. There might be in Cupid's arrow. Oh my God, guys. Somebody somebody uh, could be hiding their feelings, okay? Um, <laughs> that they want to get engaged, marry you, or commit to um, a lifelong partnership. I mean, come on. This cannot be a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences, but you guys have the absolute right to believe what you want. I'm excited. Let's get into this reading. Um, wow. Engagement ring, wedding rings. This is, this is deep. This is deep. What's going on here? Show me nine cards for this reading. Show me nine cards for this reading. What's going on here? Who's getting married or engaged? Or who's hiding the... Who's hiding the, the fact that they want to get married and engaged, okay? Or that they want a life uh, long commitment. Show me this. Nine cards. Wow. Ace of Crystals. Somebody knows. This is absolute clarity. Absolute clarity in knowing what somebody wants here. So, uh, somebody realizes, knows that you're the one that they want to be with. Or vice versa. And we have... The world card here all right this is fixed energy so somebody is absolutely clear somebody's absolutely fixed on this um they know like it's there's no doubt if anyone had doubt that doubt is gone and we have the universe which does represent aquarius leo scorpio and taurus energy and um it is a door that opens and doors that close. It is opportunities all around and it's travel. It's everything. It's the world. It's literally everything in the world. So, wow. Wow. Yeah. Nine of worlds. This is a, a harvest. This is the pre-empress. This is the one that the person, this is the energy a person is in before they actually commit. Okay. Eight, excuse me, seven more cards. Integrity, nine of wands. This is almost there. It's momentum. It's also longevity. Um, this person who wants to get married and commit, they plan to do it for a very, very long time. They plan to do it for life, but we know how life is. Sometimes things we plan for life don't happen. But the intentions of this energy, the intentions of this person is forever. Okay, the long haul because in a reading like this the nine of wands when it comes to absolute clarity the universe engagement ring wedding rings that tells me someone is absolutely clear that they want this with you and that they are in it for the long haul that's a lot of cards all right somebody might uh, be lagging the <laughs> confidence though this is the thing. Somebody knows that you are absolutely the person that they want to be with. And I do have strong Aquarius energy, but I have strong Taurus energy. Okay. I have uh, also, I have some Libra energy here. So, um, but this is the Empress. Like I said, we saw the nine of pentacles that wanted to peek out. Well, that is the pre-marriage status. Okay. That nine of pentacles. It's having everything but the person. And now here, the person the center of this and that means that there's a yang energy who absolutely knows for certain who they want to be their life person their yen the empress 
five of crystals this is the thing somebody um somebody might be a little bit negative or somebody might be a lot in the mind like thinking that the other person won't want this because i have strength in reverse i have sage of crystals in reverse and five of worlds this is somebody who thinks that the other person does not want it with them yikes what's going on let's clarify this <laughs> five of cups you know it could be somebody who is Taurus Virgo Capricorn because we have the man of worlds right here next to the five of cups there's somebody who wants this um, but somebody with the strength card and we also have Leo with the strength card somebody might might have a little bit lower confidence in thinking that the other person wants this as well so wow Jeez, Ace of Crystals, let's clarify this. That blockage, I can feel the blockage of somebody's energy. Tell me about this Ace of Crystals. Seven of Cups, all right? This is the thing. Somebody's absolutely clear about you, but confused about if you want the same. Yeah. And somebody's also fantasizing about this. Look, this is a card of fantasizing. It's a card of dreams. They could have even dreamed of you and them, okay, being together. Um, and this is a person who could be confused, you know, not knowing if you want the same thing, okay, or vice versa, okay, if you are cross-watching and it's the other way around. But I can tell you it's a yang energy who is looking at the yen and there's no gender with that okay they can be man or woman this is a ten of cups someone's literally dreaming of this with you fantasizing about it but also a little bit confused when it comes to well you want the same thing because man the lovers and look did you see how this we represent in pictures we always represent a male um a male body as a masculine but let me make it very clear there can be women who are in the yang energy there can be men who are in the yin energy and this person is absolutely struck <laughs> um, this person is absolutely clear all right and we have that lover's card and that here is on the bottom of the deck but this is king of swords reverse and king of pentacles upright so there could be there could be an earth sign who definitely um, wants long-term marriage commitment um, with an Aquarius. But we have King of Swords in reverse. Remember, somebody has not said this, okay? Somebody is keeping it secret. Wow. And then here we have Union. This would be marriage in this card. Um, this could be somebody literally offering marriage wow oh my god this is such a good reading tell me about uh continue on here tell me about the universe this is a good reading that would be great to have an extended <laughs> um someone's coming in all right and in this case the three of cups is a really good sign someone's coming in for union remember this says preparing for union here um someone's coming in we have the full energy which represents Aquarius and it does represent for some Aries but it is a card ruled by Uranus which is a, a, one of the ruling planets for Aquarius so someone's coming in here and this is like the beginning of a journey this is like somebody who is willing to go all the way all right um, they want to they want to come into union with you it's their wish and we have here King of Queen King, Queen of Pentacles remember the King of Pentacles already showed his face now on the bottom the queen of pentacles this person knows you are the one there's absolute clarity about this you are the one that they want to spend their life with tell me about that nine of wands that's for the long term the long haul in this reading yeah they're obsessed thinking about this and this could have been a person who you know they they dated they um because we have capricorn energy here representing it we have the devil representing it so this is a person who you know they uh, you know they've they've dated they've been around the world literally um and you know you are the one you are the one and this is the whole thing this is now saturn energy in which we have Uranus and Saturn energy right here and those are the ruling planets of aquarius those two right there 
Now there's this decision. It's the two of wands. It's a path. Somebody has chosen a path here. When it's in the reverse, that's how I see it. Someone has chosen. Tell me about this. Eight of Swords. Ace of Swords. So like I said, the, the clarity's already been gained. The Ace of Swords is up here for absolute clarity. All right, but the Eight of Swords is in the reverse. The Ace of Swords is in the reverse, clarifying this Two of Wands. And it's telling me somebody's already made a decision. Whoever this is was so much in their mind about this. They didn't have clarity about this. But now, in this reading, this person has already decided you're the one. Okay, there's nobody closer to them than you, energetically speaking. And this person... Um, this person knows you're the one. I just don't understand why the, they're not having the confidence here toward the end. Ace of Wands. Yeah. <laughs> they know you're the one, but again, this Ace of Wands is in the reverse because it takes two, right? It takes two to make a decision. And they know that they're in love, and they know that, look, look at this. Pre-Empress energy right here, before someone settles down. Um... Ace of Cups, somebody, like I said, this person has everything but the love that they want, and they know that you're the one. You are the one. I do feel that in the right timing here, somebody is going to come in and say something, but they're something with a strength reverse. Tell me about the Five of Crystals. This was all that thought, that mental, mental thought. Justice. This could be a person who's afraid of marriage. This could be that person that, you know, believes that when you get married, then everything goes, you know, everything goes to crap. You know, this could be like a belief, a mindset. And that's really all that it is. Someone believes possibly that if they go through and get married, justice, okay, um, right there, that it could fail tower. This is just a concept. This is a concept that someone's trying to let go of. And here we have King of Swords, and it could be an Aquarian who's trying to get out of that concept. Whoever it is, it is a divine masculine energy, a yang energy that is afraid of marriage, but they're not, they're 100% clear about wanting to be with their divine feminine, their yen. They're 100% clear about this, wanting to be with uh, Aquarius or Aquarius wanting to be with them. However, the shoe is fitting right here. Tell me about the Five of Worlds. Nine of Wands. It's right here. This is a person who could have been single for a while. All right. The Nine of Wands landed on the Nine of Wands, landed on the Devil, but it's clarifying the Five of Worlds. This is a person who probably blocked out love and it caused a lot of problems like pain and heartache because literally the Queen of Swords reversed with the three, with the three of Swords upright. This is a person who probably blocked out love, was afraid to do this again, could have already been in one bad relationship, at least one, and it's just like, I, I don't know. But then they met you or you met them and it's just all different now. Like it's just all different. They know you're the one that they would want to spend the rest of their life with, but they're terrified of the literal marriage. Could even be just being terrified of the word. Who knows? Tell me about the Sage of Crystals. This is Gemini energy. It's in the reverse. Nine of Swords. This person is it's in the process here. They're really getting out of their head about this. They've been, they've they're really afraid of the M word or or they're afraid of, you know. They're terrified. They could have seen something. Maybe the parents' marriage didn't last. Who knows? It could be any kind of thing. But this is a person who is trying to gain the strength to come in. They really are. And when I see the Queen of Wands reverse and strength reverse, this is definitely a confidence issue. Someone is, a, someone is really not confident when it comes to reaching out, but damn it, they want, they want to marry you at least spend the rest of their life with you, move in. <laughs> this is what's in their feelings, and I can't help but think with the moon card that this Pisces um, eclipse that we had did not help but to trigger this. Tell me about the strength card in the reverse. Yeah, but it don't matter because with this Cancer Energy chariot, they're coming in soon. 
and they don't look confident like if you look at the face on this card this face they don't look confident but they're coming in anyway because how are they going to know how are they going to know yeah but they've look they've decided they've decided you are the one lacking a little bit of confidence to come in and tell you this Wow, let's close out. I don't know. I'm trying to keep it under 20 minutes. This would have been a great reading to do an extended reading. So I do have those coming in the future. And it says last quarter moon in Gemini. I did have Gemini there. And it says clear your mind. This person is doing that. They're clearing their mind. Um, it's a confidence issue with them. But they're 100% clear about you being the one. Anyway, guys, I love you. Thank you for tuning in and namaste, my friends.